My hands are registered lethal weapons. If somebody tells you that, do everything you can to get away from them as quickly as possible. Not because they're dangerous, but because they're delusional. There is no law requiring someone to register their hands based on the amount of hand-to-hand -hand combat experience or fighting experience that they have. That's a complete myth. One of my boys asked me to explain this because for some reason, even with the internet being available to everybody, people are still perpetuating this nonsense, childish myth. I mean, if you're over the age of 10 years old and you're saying that your hands are registered or you have, like when I was a kid, everybody always had a crazy uncle, you know, that killed 40 people with his pinky and whatever. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody's got stories. These stories are all nonsense. I don't care if you Mike Tyson, a combatives instructor for special forces, nobody has to register their hands. And furthermore, nobody that's really highly trained is going to volunteer to put themselves in the spotlight and let people know what level of training they have or what their capabilities are. If somebody really has some high level of training and skill in fighting, they're not going to talk about it. They're not going to advertise it. It's just one of them things that you'll see happen and they'll demonstrate it if they need to. Um, you know, I do see some of these karate schools that are starting to get a little bit um, creative with trying to keep their members intrigued by telling them, now you got a black belt, so you got to go register your hands because you're a lethal weapon. I did almost every form, form of martial art before I did boxing. And I can tell you that, like, with the exception of the, the, you know, the ones that actually compete like in like, you know, Muay Thai or, you know, if you're actually in a real MMA academy where they're like sparring on a regular basis, full contact, full speed, anything less than that, it's like the McDojo experience where they just selling you a fantasy. And, you know, if you spar somebody, you get hit once or you catch a bloody nose and they stop it as opposed to boxing or real combat sports where if you get a broken nose or you're hurt or you're tired, they tell the guy beating your ass to pick up the pace and it gets even harder. And that's how you find out if you really are a fighter or if you really are, you know, a lethal weapon, so to speak. Um, and, you know, aside from like hearing drunk dudes in the bar trying to impress chicks or whatever, I don't really hear too many people, um, you know, ed too many educated people saying these things. Again, this is something that, you know, children and fools basically are going to be saying you legally can register your hands. And I think it's about the dumbest thing you could do because you are putting yourself in the spotlight to the local authorities as a potential suspect. If there's some unsolved beatings in the neighborhood, you might get a knock at your door from the local authorities. But other than that, there's really no glory to be had and registering your hands. So, um, yeah, again, if you come around any of these people that are speaking about their hands are registered and or they know somebody, just kindly uh, excuse yourself from the conversation as quickly as you can before you go any deeper into that fantasy. Um, if you do register your hands, another fun fact is you got to register your hands, I think, with the Department of Revenue and Taxation or some weirdo financial um enforcement organization is no connection to like street violence i don't even understand where the connection to that is um that's about it i mean it's just something that people have been saying for years i'm really like kind of like depressed that people are even still that stupid but yeah so do yourself the biggest favor disassociate yourself with anybody that speaks about such nonsense if you like more videos on boxing training or debunking these myths about combat sports and stuff like that, like, subscribe, share the video. I got more videos coming soon. So the next time we out, out.